Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome on board. Let's do the VR approach, which is also called a non-precision approach on the Airbus 320. There are two ways of doing it. One is using the final approach guidance and one is using the FPA guidance. So let's start with the final approach guidance first. Let's take a look at the chart. Right now, I'm approaching Mumbai from the north. I've set the course to Brow 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 and the FMGS has already been prepared for VR runway 32 overhead approach. Now we'll be descending down to 3800 feet. Because as per the chart, if you look at the plan view on the profile view, it says overhead brow 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 you should be at 3800 feet. So it's a good practice to be at flaps 1 and S speed when you reach the VR. And then you proceed outbound on radial 161 descending to 2600 feet. This is where you need to set the lower altitude or else the airplane won't descend. And then at 9.5 dm, there's a level turn to intercept the final approach course fix at 7.5 dm. Now during the turn, you go flaps to F speed and then 3 miles to the final approach fix, you start configuring yourself for the landing. You go gear down, flaps 3, flaps full, hit the approach button on the FCU just like how you do it for the ILS approach. At 7.5 dm, the aircraft will start descending by itself. The moment it starts its descent, you set the missed approach altitude and then you do the height and DME cross check all the way till your MDA which in our case is 650 you add 50 feet for a non-precision approach make it a DDA which is derived as an altitude so 100 feet above DDA that is at 800 feet you will start looking out for the runway at minimums you have the runway in sight you disconnect autopilot you put the FDs off put the bird on and then hit the runway track which is 315 and then go ahead and land visually all the way to the end. All right, uh, we are approaching Brow, 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 descending to 3,800 feet. I've already taken flaps one, reducing to S speed. Speed all star, 3,800 feet. Let's set the next lower altitude, which is 26. 260 is set on the FC. Oops. Those clicks are more reversion. Ah, yeah, right. I said the lower altitude when I saw all star. That was a mistake. And is the aircraft is descending, let's go manage descent. Just cross checking the right radio outbound. Approaching 2600, all star. All right, starting the turn, let me take flaps two. All right, halfway down the turn, let me just arm the approach, approach on the app nav, and final blue. Ten point five. That is three months to go. Gear down. Speed break on. Lights. Gears are down. Flap three. Flap full. Alright, final approach is engaged. 
Now we'll do the height and DME cross check. All right, six miles is 2100. Six, two, one, zero, zero, perfectly on profile. Let's check what's five miles. Five miles is 1750. Five miles, 1750 on profile. Four miles is 1400. Four miles, 1400, perfectly on profile. Three miles is 1050. One thousand. Thousand feet stabilized. Okay, three miles, ten fifty on profile. We are approaching hundred above. Hundred above. All right, one way inside. This is where we disconnect autopilot. FD's off. Bird on. Go and go ahead and land. Minimum. Now let's take a look at VR approach using FPA. Now everything remains the same. The only difference is when you're at 9.5 DME at flaps 1 doing the level turn to intercept the final approach course fix, you go flaps to F speed. And then you start configuring yourself for the landing configuration, but there are additional things that you need to do. That is first, you will choose track FPA. Basically, you're getting the bird on. Then you go on rose VR mode and start intercepting the final approach course of 3 2 1 using the track you get your gear down flaps 3 flaps full and then one mile before the final approach fix you choose the fpa angle of 3.3 degrees because the descent angle for this approach is 3.29 which you cannot choose 3.29 so you'll choose 3.3 and don't pull yet so you just choose 3.3 and hold and just point 3 dme before the faf that is at 7.8 dm you pull the fpa the aircraft starts descending set the missed approach altitude and then do the height and dme cross check so keeping the cdi center of course and then at 800 feet which is 100 above look out for the runway and at 700 feet runway inside disconnect autopilot but the fd is off the bird is already on runway track 315 go ahead and land we're at flaps 1, outbound, 10 miles, 2600 feet. Okay, let's take flaps 2. The aircraft starts turning and this is where we head to the rose VOR mode. I see the bird on. And just like the way we did in the earlier approach, three miles to FAF, you go gear down and then continuously flap three, flap full. One mile to FAF, you choose uh, the descent angle and don't pull yet. Point three miles before the FAF, you pull and start descent. Okay, let's switch to Rose VR mode. Let's go on track select and start uh, intercepting the, the final approach course of 3, 2, 1. The moment you get the CDI in the center, you just straight away put track 3, 2, 1. And uh, all the wind correction and everything is taken care of because it's track, it's not heading.
All right, 10.5 miles, gear down. Speed brake on, light set. CDS entered, track three to one. Gears are down, flap three. And flap full. Now we'll just wait for 8.5 DME to set the the descent angle. All right, one mile to go. Uh, let's set 3.3 because its an angle is 3.29. Point three miles before the FAF. That is that is at 7.8. We'll pull. Seven point eight. Pull the FPA. You see FPA minus three point three degrees. So it starts descending. CDI is centered. Let's do a height and DME cross check. Seven miles. Two four five zero. Seven miles. Two four five zero. Okay. Seven miles. Two four zero zero. A tad bit low, so we'll reduce the FPA. Let's make it three degrees for a while. Six mile is twenty one hundred. So let's cross check. Six miles twenty eight hundred. Let's just adjust the FPA as required. Five miles is seventeen fifty. One thousand feet stabilized. Hundred above. Hundred above. We have the runway inside. Get disconnect autopilot. Set runway track three one five. Put the FD off. Bird is on. Minimum. Go ahead and land. So this is basically how you do the VOR approach, the non-precision approach using final approach guidance or the FPA guidance. Hey, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.